If you're gonna be taking a cybersecurity certification at home, particularly this one is through Pearson View, I wanna show you a couple of things that's gonna really help save you some time because the first time I took my certification, I actually had to reschedule. And to prevent you from having that problem, I'm gonna walk through some very important details. Okay, so number one, my exam today is at 7.45. It is currently seven o'clock and I've already prepared my work area for the certification. So a couple of things. First and foremost, if you have multiple monitors, they do request that your monitors are unplugged. So you can see, I do, you can power them off, but I just go ahead and unplug them because what will happen is a lot of times that when you start to, to talk to the certification guy, he's gonna ask you to take your camera, which I have here, and lift it up and you're gonna pan around the entire room. Okay, so he's gonna wanna look at the whole thing. The second thing is, you're gonna have to download the Pearson View software. I don't wanna show my code. I don't know if it matters, this is a test code anyway. So, but you have to run this program and this program is gonna basically let you know if there's anything on your machine that's running that could be an issue. So for instance, like I have Razer keyboard, you see my keyboard lights up and stuff like that. So the Razer software is running. So what I had to do is, is you're gonna to have to go to task manager. Let's see if I can do this in one hand. And when you go into task manager, basically if you have like Razer software, I had to go through and find all of it, like game manager, and then Razor this and Razor that. And I just searched for Razor. So everything you did, I just searched for up here at the top, okay? And once you do that, then it'll allow you to go ahead and you wanna just right click on it and kill task. Now you do wanna, I mean, I hope that you know how to kill task. If you're in doing cybersecurity or anything in tech, you should know how to kill task. The next thing that's very important is when you're doing this process is you can't have headphones. So if you notice my headphones right back there on the table, okay? The reason why is because if you, it's, it's something you gotta have speakers. So if you don't have a cheap set of speakers, go out and buy something so you don't have, don't have headphones. The reason why is because they may think that you're cheating and stuff like that. So another thing right here, so I got these keyboards here. This is kind of like my junk drawer. I'm just gonna go ahead and close that up. That's gonna be a problem. And then I'm gonna take this keyboard. I'm gonna walk it back here. Also what I have here, this is my work laptop. It's plugged into a docking station that you'll see right here on my desk. And so that, you know, typically you don't have to disconnect that as long as I can show him that the cable's not disconnected, not connected. And so I'll put that back here. And so basically he's gonna want me to pan around the whole room. He's gonna look like, and when you get ready to do this, the certification test, you have to hold your phone up and take a picture of left, right, front, and back, okay? And so once you do that, then, and make sure you got all the programs closed down, it's gonna test your connection. It's gonna test your microphone. And let me show you this too. So I'll go back on the screen so you can see this, this feature. So click on previous. So it downloads the exam, test your network connection, make sure that's good. You can see my microphone is working right there. And then the speaker test, let me show you the speaker test. So once that's good on the microphone, we do the speaker test here. And let's see, if, okay, there it is. So as soon as you click yes there, and then on the webcam, open that up. You can see I'm recording this on my phone. So you're gonna make sure your webcam is working and stuff like that. So once that's all confirmed, you're gonna click next and it's gonna test your network connection, which was fine. And then it's gonna retest to make sure all these applications are closed. So I'm gonna open up my Razor application right here. There you go. So let's open our Razor because I want you to see what this looks like if once it like fails the test. Because a lot of times, like I said, hey, even, you know, this caught me, it caught my, my supervisor, like my, my boss, who's the CTO, it caught us all. Like he had to reschedule his test because he ran into some issues with this machine, if you're on Mac, this is gonna be completely different. So this is gonna be more geared towards Windows machine, okay? All right, so now I've opened that Razor software and you can see, look at all the stuff that appears here, okay? Razor Synapse, Central Service, and stuff like that. So all these things, it says is a no-go. So I'm gonna close the program here. Once I close the program, I'm gonna to go to Task Manager and it's gonna be a little bit difficult with one hand, but I'm just gonna type Razor, R-A-Z, should be enough, enter. And so there's the Game Manager right there. Okay, cool. So you can see my chroma key stuff I didn't have to kill, but the task manager is running. So this is a task manager. So I'm just gonna go ahead and close this. And then when I retest, this is what you wanna see. No issues detected. You can click next, okay? So once you do that, click next. It's gonna verify your video stream. So once you see this, all right, can you see yourself in a video stream? You can see I can see myself. It's recording. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and click yes, I can see myself. It says you may proceed to the test. And once again, I'm doing, this is the pre-test. So my test doesn't start for another 30 minutes or so. So now it's gonna launch a test simulation here, okay? 
So we're securing your computer, launching the exam. You're not expecting this can take up to a couple of minutes. So let's let this run. It typically doesn't take a couple of minutes, I don't think, but we'll see. All right, so it attempted to load the test and then it's gonna open up and it's gonna give me a few test questions here. So as you're welcome, you're gonna take one quick exam. There's the next button now here. So I'm gonna click next. All right, and then it says, on exam day, I remember to do the following. Use this computer, have a clean desk. Stay within the webcam view. Keep my cell phone out of arm's reach, which I'm not doing. This is, I'll do it when I'm actually testing. Not read the exam out loud, okay? Exam day advice for one view. Avoid VPNs, hotspots that could degrade network quality. Ensure that you have a strong, stable internet connection throughout the duration of the exam. Check that your computer has power source available as plugged into before getting the beginning of the exam. Once you get through with that, I'm gonna click here. It's gonna say thank you. All right, and then I'm gonna be able to end the exam down here. And then that closes the system test. All right, that's gonna close out and I'm complete. So now at this point, once you get through all of that stuff, and I hope this saves you a lot of trouble, okay? Cause it's caused me some issues. Go ahead and click close. And now I know for sure that I'm actually ready to take the exam, but let's see, we got some more. Looks like the exam is loading here. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and log into the exam environment. Okay, and this is not related. <laughs> so this is actually my training environment. So I'm gonna like change it off now. So anyway, hope this video was helpful. Don't forget to drop a like if it was. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more real life enterprise cybersecurity. I'm showing you the stuff that you really need to do the job. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Peace.